in power. He is not the weakest, but he is in fact the weakest in the hierarchy of the Ghost Rider. Due to the fact that he's a spirit of vengeance possessing a dead body. You said that this is this is the hierarchy that you feel like from strongest to uh, weakest. So the books I'm going to be using is Avengers issue 50, Avengers issue, this uh, Avengers 58. Then we got a uh, fucking uh, Avengers uh, million BC. Then you're going to look at uh, Midnight Suns for one of the, I believe what the weakest one is. Then we gonna look at uh, Avengers of uh, Avengers Forever. Then we gonna look at Avengers Forever issue 11. We're also gonna use the first issue of the first uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider run. Then we're gonna use the first issue of the second Cosmic Ghost Rider run, the current run that we're in. Avengers issue 15, this shit ain't came out yet. Avengers issue 14, and the Cosmic Ghost Rider issue two, that's the, that's the recent issue. And Avengers issue 63, Avengers issue 25, let's get started. So in this first solo run of the first issue of Cosmic Ghost Rider, so as soon as that shit start off, we get the little backstory of how Cosmic Ghost Rider became Cosmic Ghost Rider and how he died. So all the information that you gave me is before this, and he got killed by Thor's hammer. That's how he ended up in Valhalla, because like, if you pause the read right here, Odin tore open time and space and brought his ass over to the 616 universe. He didn't want to be there, so Odin was like, all right, come with me. He brought him to his damn, his, you know, his motorcycle. Frank ain't want to be the co cosmic ghost rider again. But as you can see, he said, you ain't got no motherfucking choice. I wasn't offering a chance. And he made his ass the Cosmic Ghost Rider. And then he got reborn again. He is now alive. That's why in his current run, you see him alive. Also, we know from issue two of uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, the current run, there's two Cosmic Ghost Riders now, which is this dude right here. And you know, he fought these motherfuckers. So now let's talk about the hierarchy of uh, Ghost Rider. You said that it was, uh, you, you had your list. Johnny was number one for you. So you remember that, I know you read this book. In this book, he lost the race to Johnny and that's how he lost the King of Hell shit. Sorry, he lost the race to Robbie. Now in issue 50 of Avengers, when Deathlock came and got the Omni Avenger for the multiversal uh, vengeance that was finna happen, you remember this panel. This right here is where he tells him that you the strongest fucking uh, uh, spear rider ever that he ever seen. And he's been through all the multiverses and shit. And we know from Avengers issue 11, when he finally went to his ultimate form, the all rider. And that's when his whole body is in flames and shit. He is literally in hierarchy, as you say, number one. Second on that hierarchy has to be a prehistoric Ghost Rider. The reason why I say that is because in this war, they only got the strongest characters and everybody that's really important, and he was one of them. And he whooped the fuck out of the fourth one that's uh, Norman Osborn as the uh, Goblin Ghost Rider with his satchel of burning fucking Ghost Rider fucking heads that he went around the multiverse killing. Yeah, prehistoric Ghost Rider murked his ass. That's why he number four for me. Number three is the Ronin Ghost Rider. Who you learn about in issue 58 of Avengers? Now in issue 50 of Avengers, this is where they state that they gotta go through time and find all the strongest Avengers through time. And as you can see, Ronin Ghost Rider's right there. And he's currently in the war too. Now Danny Ketch and Johnny Blaze, they still fucking going through their little shit, so I can't really rank them right now. If you pause the read, you'll see what's going on with Donnie Ketch as they up here weaponizing fucking uh, instruments as hell and shit. And then in issue 15, that still ain't came out yet. You see that they ses successfully siphoned the spirit out of Danny Ketch's shit. So we, we gotta wait on them too. Now when it comes to the other Ghost Riders, Vengeance, Ghost Rider 2099. You got a Ghost Rider that was a grizzly bear. You got one that was a bridesmaid. I feel like she the weakest one, the spirit rider. In issue two of Midnight Suns, Doom had her ass scared as hell. I think he was for the killer ass if it wasn't for fucking Clea coming to save her ass. He was beating the fuck out of the Midnight Suns. So with the fact that Frank is alive now and there's two cosmic ghost riders, he stated that Robbie is the strongest ghost rider in all the multiverses, the all rider. This hierarchy list needs to be changed, bro. That's all I'm saying. Frank is not the weakest. The damn Celestial that Robbie was fighting, Cosmic Ghost Rider brought that damn bitch head back. Thor tried to drop the hammer on Johnny, but he went under that shit and made his own. 